Kelly Kozak has been watching her husband's trial since the beginning and on Thursday took the witness stand in his defense. I noticed that he was texting her a lot. Kelly says at first her husband would tell her about Andrea Farrington's texts, but then would start to hide them from her. There was no one else that I had ever known him to purposefully keep his phone pointed away from me. Kozak describes Farrington's text messages as coming in every minute of every day. I would be trying to sleep and I would tell him, tell her to shut up. I'm trying to go to sleep. You know, that there's no reason for that. Just make her stop. Alexander Kozak's mom, Cindy McComas, and his sister, Jenny Wynn, spoke about times when Kozak would lash out unexpectedly. He would get very angry over trivial things like a computer that wasn't working properly. I was taken aback because of how angry over something really small. I mean, it's just a computer. It's not going to work all the time. Dr. William Logan, a forensic psychiatrist, a key witness for the defense, says Kozak suffers from intermittent explosive personality disorder and borderline personality disorder and did the day of the shooting. Logan says people with those disorders can respond to trivial things with rage. There was a, a series of, of him showing increased emotional instability, more frequent displays of temper, overreacting to events that kind of led up to this particular incident.